Hi, I am Stephanie Dodds, the principal at Madison Elementary School. And I'm Joy Del Gallego, the instructional coach at Madison Elementary School. We wanted to welcome you all back from spring break, and we wanted to share some of the exciting things that are happening around our district. First, there's been a lot of buzz lately around the Committee of 100. Our district vision is to revolutionize K-12 education by drawing on the experience and knowledge and dreams of our Cajon Valley educators. The first stop of our Committee of 100 was at Design 39. Joy, can you share a little bit about your experience there? Sure, we spent two days at Poway's Design 39 campus where we were able to tour K through eighth grade classrooms and then also participate in numerous hands-on workshops where we really started to think about and reimagine education. Here are a couple short clips from members of the team. And today at Design 39, we saw so many cool innovative things that we wanna implement here in Cajon Valley. We want to be more flexible and have give the kids more agency, take a hold of what they want to learn and the different projects that they can incorporate with their interests. So imagining a school from scratch uh, was powerful and seeing it actually come to fruition at Design 39 uh, helped us all really believe in that process happening here in Cone Valley. You know, I think that one of the things we saw um, was uh, the tremendous amount of collaboration amongst teachers and um, the great freedom that students have in student agency uh, for their learning throughout the campus. We're really excited about what this means for Cajon Valley students and being able to participate. We'd like to share now some highlights from the ASU GSV conference. This was an opportunity for Cajon Valley educators to see education in a global scale. For me personally, one of the biggest takeaways was the idea of human innovation. Groups of educators, policymakers, and entrepreneurs came together for three days with the intention of raising career outcomes, all the while remembering the importance of the social and emotional well-being of students. As part of the conference, Bostonia had a handful of dignitaries from around the world visit their school. Here's a video. So the ASU GSB conference is the world's leading summit for education in the workforce, and it's brought together leaders from around the globe to tackle the biggest questions of the 21st century. For example, building sustaining a middle class, and how do we make sure that there's something for every child that leaves our system? That's something that every country, every country's leader, wants to be able to answer for their own communities. So today we're here with a range of colleagues from around the world. We have a group we've partnered with ASU on and are coming to visit Cajon Valley and what our group is really interested in doing is trying to find the best ideas from around the world that can rapidly accelerate progress. And we think that there's a real advantage to learning from each other because good practice can be shared across borders. No single country or school district uh, has a total solution to making sure every single kid, no matter rich or poor, has the highest quality education they can. I'm excited about the possibilities that these linkages bring. Uh, beyond the, uh, the conference, we're going to build a network of uh, ideas and uh, from individuals from different countries. So I think the global focus of this conference is very useful. I'm able to talk to people to know what they are doing in their various countries and how they can learn from me and how I can learn from them and develop some partnerships uh, going forward. So international uh, collaboration, especially in education, is really vital because you know that this is the era of radical change in education. We really have to search for the new model of learning. So we have to collaborate to uh, find a new path. Each individual country is not able to do this alone. Probably we can come up with a common solution that can be applied to every school, uh, that can benefit every student. A lot of the challenges that education faces is the same all around the world. I come from a developing country, South Africa in Africa, and yet the diversity challenges that we face here in San Diego, for example, are similar but not as deep as those that we face at home. I think that never before have we lived in an era where global citizenship is so real. We're preparing our kids still in a 19th century education context where they've got to deal with 21st century realities, jobs that don't exist that we have to prepare them for. And I believe that we can learn mutually from one another. 
We're hoping that we build synergies and networks and people continue to talk and share as they can move education forward, particularly for kids to make sure that they're getting the full breadth of skills and suite of competencies they need to thrive in their life, work, and citizenship. What a great way to represent all that's happening. Way to go, Bostonia. Now we want to take a look at Flying Hills and how they celebrated meeting their fun run goal by transforming their principal into a human Sunday. So today's event was to reward the children for beating their goal at our fun run last year. We told them if we beat our goal that we would Sunday the principal. He's going to get covered in stuff. He's going to be a Sunday. It's the kids, the community, the teachers. They love the students. Everyone here is family. We take care of each other. And we have an amazing leader in Mr. Kufal. We are so excited because we're creating and inspiring dynamic thinkers through the arts. He's supportive. He knows every student by name. By he knows name. families. So he's an amazing principal. Thank you, PTO and Apex. We are strong. Thank you, Mr. Kufal, for everything you do for our students and how much work and effort and love that you put into your job and supporting our staff, supporting our PTO, and we love you and appreciate you for it. Love, 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 love you. Never doubt the determination of our Flying Hill students. When they set a goal, they reach out. Way to go, Flying Hill! How about doing something like that here at Madison, Stephanie? Uh, we'll think about that. <laughs> All right. Well, Hamishaw recently celebrated their Colonial Day. Let's take a look. Welcome to Colonial Day at Hamishaw. So the fifth graders at Hamishaw Elementary are experiencing Colonial Day today, which is in the middle of our colonial studies. So they're experiencing what kids might do back in the 1700s. So they are playing some colonial games. They're doing some colonial projects with candles and lanterns. They're making colonial toys and like a spice rope or a palmander to fragrance your home. And they're enjoying some Indian fry bread as well. And basically wrapping up what they've been studying in social studies. I just want to thank our parent volunteers and our teachers for making this happen for our students. They are so engaged and having such a great time experiencing life as a colonial child. So what really makes Colonial Day special is that Hamishaw has the most amazing parent volunteers. The one thing that's special about this school is how involved the parents are. When we ask for volunteers, everybody is willing to volunteer and come in with no questions asked. The thing that makes Hamishaw special is it's such a great school for learning. Thing. The, the teachers are amazing. These kids have worked really, really hard. We've done Explorer reports. We've talked about colonial life, the emphasis on England, how we wanted to become our own nation, and they have put hours into researching and studying what life was like, and so they deserve a fun day to experience it on their own. Come visit us at Hamishaw, where we care, we share, and we dare. Way to go, Hawks. Thank you so much for watching. Just think we only have six more weeks to love and inspire our students. Thank you.